Hey everyone, this is Cubo. Welcome to No Man's Sky new update Expeditions 3.3. And this update includes a new game mode. Players will start on the same planet. Shared expeditions across the galaxy, unlocking new rewards, earn mission patches. There's a lot of new cool stuff. In this video, I'm going to go over all of the patch notes well most of them especially the new game mode feature and the golden alpha vector ship as you can see i know right it's awesome so let's dive right into it okay so first as i can see it you need a one clear space for you to enter the community expedition game mode time remaining two months for this one that's interesting now let's go over the patch notes and all the new cool features no man's sky expedition oh, i want that gold ship okay first page is the trailer so let's watch it Okay, that was the trailer, awesome. It's gonna be a brand new way to play No Man's Sky. Start a fresh journey in a brand new game mode. Master a unique set of challenges, revitalized mission mechanics, earn exclusive new rewards, okay, shared expeditions, introducing a whole new game mode, expeditions. Each of these events starts from a fixed point in the universe, bringing the whole community of travelers together to embark on a shared journey. Each expedition is structured around a series of milestones. Complete these unique exploration goals in any order as you earn rewards, meet up with fellow travelers, and experiment with new ways of playing No Man's Sky. Awesome! Milestones and phases. Each expedition phase is made of milestones. These challenges ranging from the simple to the highly challenging can be completed in any order. Hmm. Milestones are open-ended and each one is a chance to explore a different aspect of No Man's Sky. Every completed milestone brings a reward to assist you in your journey. Pin a milestone to your mission log to learn more. Every fully completed phase will unlock a unique reward exclusive to those who undertake the, the expedition. An extra reward awaits those who complete their entire expedition. Mission target sweeping. The process of finding mission locations has been reworked to aid more exploration gameplay. So instead of following a marker, the analysis visor's new target sweep mode requires players to use their tracking skills to precisely locate their target. I think it's gonna be much harder now, in short. <laughs> There's gonna be Twitch drops as well, you can now earn in-game rewards by watching No Man's Sky on Twitch, you can sign up for more, there's a link on the site here. And the best one yet, the weekend events are now back, oh yeah, new weekend event missions are available from the Nexus. Each weekend, Polo and Nada will indicate a specifically located mission for all travelers for Participate in and earn generous Quicksilver rewards. This is awesome. I'm gonna be all over that. As you can see, 
The daily Quicksilver missions are now 250, unlike before, they changed it back, and the weekend events will be 1200 Quicksilver each one, each week. Personally, I'm glad it's back, yay! The rest we're gonna do much more quicker, so follow me. Special rendezvous planets along the expedition route to create dynamic hubs of activity, you can meet up with the community, the group up, let's continue explorer starship enhancement. Explorer class starships has been visually refurbished with enhanced model and texture detail, look at that, this is after and this was before, much cooler, the attention to detail, it seems it's only on the explorer types of ships, but okay, I'll take it, the second one looks awesome as well i like the details of the ships it looks like they have a second cockpit it wasn't there before interesting let's continue okay frequent ongoing expeditions it's gonna be like events each one will be different different time and length the expeditions will be unique to each one each one is gonna begin fresh with randomized character and set of technologies and for this one we got two months before it will end and hopefully will change okay at the end of the expedition we can no longer earn the new rewards however your save game will be available and will be converted to a normal mode save i think for the ones you already got resource target sweeping target sweep can find more than just mission locations Okay, new mission board, the mission agent mission board has been visually revamped, improving aesthetics and clarity of information. On the space station, there's missions if you didn't know, they improved the visuality and the rewards as well. Sentinel combat enhancement, oh yeah, this is good. Not a lot to say, the combat has been rebalanced, more dynamic and satisfying, extra degree of challenge, sentinels have improved mobility and target locking, as you can see they can, they can shake the ground via atmospheric injection, they call it, nice, boom, okay, I like that. And quality of life, a number of quality of life improvements have been introduced, including the ability to use the quick menu to switch their primary starship while docked at the space anomaly. This one is amazing. This is just to prove that No Man's Sky really knows their community and what they want. Because I wanted this for a long time and I know a lot of people also. The pinning system has been significantly improved to provide more accurate and helpful guidance. A number of recipe costs have been rebalanced to reduce grind gameplay. Okay, they made it less grindy. The yield now are more generous on the supply of metal. And cross-platform discoveries. The discoveries database has been made cross-platforms. Your discoveries, planets, star systems, alien, fauna, and more, and now shared between all players. Let's hope. Community mission progress is now also pulled between all platforms, bringing the whole community together. Let's hope. We're gonna check that out later this week. Hopefully everything they say really is changed for the better. By the way, awesome base build by Beeblebomb. Grats on make it to the patch notes, buddy. And this is the golden alpha vector ship. Look at that. I need to catch my breath for that. <laughs> it really is amazing. All the parts are gold. I think we're gonna see a lot of this ship around. Okay. New HUD. This is after. And this is before. Okay. I don't see much of a difference, but as I said before, I'll take it. Performance and loading optimizations. Okay, significant number of performance loading. Okay, you can read that at the patch notes after. Explorer looks way cooler now. Exclusive new rewards. Progressing through expedition phase will unlock exclusive new rewards. Look at that, the golden starship and helmet. Jetpack unit, a new one. Atlas fireworks. A gold freeing flag and more. Oh, I want that. I will have to do a new character for that. Cool. Okay. 
new markers as well as you can see not a lot to say about it those are the new ones not a lot of difference i gotta say cross save rewards rewards earned from expeditions can be redeemed or free on other saves in any game mode by visiting the quicksilver synthesis companion okay this is how we're gonna do that so if you missed an event you're gonna lose the rewards you can get but i'm sure they will do it in a loop you can earn them back after i hope streamlined jetpack unit look at that featuring an elegant single thruster design nice you can get it under appearance modifier after you get it as a reward multiplayer mission improvements the multiplayer missions available from the nexus on the space anomaly have been enhanced with the number of gameplay improvements okay and the golden vector look at that explorer who fully completed the mission will be able to claim the golden vector starship an opulent gold edition of the classic alpha vector nice okay and we got to the patch notes those you can read if you want to know more details more exact details but i will leave it at here no reason for me to say again what already been said except minor issues i will link it to the description for you to read if you want to but the most we got from this update we already gone through as you can see there's expedition mode is a new game mode expedition mode there is no tutorial no artemis quest expedition mode players start with randomized ship multi-tool we covered that but you're more than welcome to go over that i just wanted to keep it short i will leave a link in the description for you if you want to go over that and that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this new update video if you want more be sure to press that like button and subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one bye everyone see you around